Looking at these variables, uh, in an effort to keep students warm in the science classroom, the school has invested in eight space heaters for labs. Each space heater uses 140 C of current and a potential difference of 120 V. How much will it cost to operate all the space heaters for both classes six hours per day for three weeks of December, from Monday to Friday of each week, if Hydro-Quebec charges a rate of 0 0.07 per kilowatt hour, and that's dollars per kilowatt hour. So the first thing we're going to do is we're actually going to try and figure out how many hours we have out of this whole six hours per day, five days a week for three weeks business. If we want to calculate the time, we've got three weeks that this is operational. And in one, in each of the weeks, we're working for five days of that week. And within each of those days, we're working for six hours per day. So this allows us to cancel out these unwanted units and it leaves us with hours which is what we need to get to kilowatt hour. At the end of the day, we need to fill out this formula. We need to fill out E is equal to PE delta T, right? Because this is where we're going to get our kilowatts, and this is where we're going to get our hours. So we can look at trying to find the energy here by saying that V is equal to the energy over the charge. Now in this case we're looking for E, which means we're going to multiply both sides by the charge. That implies that E is going to be equal to V times Q. The only time we can keep time as hours is when we're trying to find the kilowatt hours. So if we want to try to find the kilowatts, okay, the kilowatt hours, then we have to take this number here and do what to it? Joules are not the same thing that goes into kilowatts. What has to happen to this energy here? Why? There's a thousand kilojoule, there's a thousand joules, I should say, in one kilojoule, right? But joules is the same thing as watts. Joules is not the same thing as watts. No, it's not. If we want to keep our time in hours, instead of trying to find what 90 hours is in seconds, Okay, and having these astronomical numbers. Let's change this guy, let's divide him by a thousand and get a kilojoule number. Okay, if I divide this by a thousand, I'm going to get 16.8 kilojoules, correct? Of energy. Yes? Now, we're actually, what we're about to do is we're, we're actually going to do a little more work than we have to, and you're going to see why it's redundant in a second. But if we have our, our, this formula that we're working for, okay, we want to actually try and find kilowatt hours. Right now we have kilojoules and we have hours. So if I plug this formula in and I solve for PE, I will be able to get my kilowatts, okay? So if I do this, I'm going to have, yes, you so far, if I do this and I solve for my kilowatts for my kilowatt hours, okay, it gives me 0 0.187 kilowatts. Now, if I go back up to this formula here and I multiply, I say E is equal to PE delta T, and I say that 0 0.187 kilowatts times 90 hours is going to give me the exact same number I had here, but it's going to give it to me 16.8 kilowatt hours. It's going to give it to me in the units that I need. 
because I cannot put kilojoules into that formula. Okay? Now, I've got my kilowatt hours. What can I do? Cost is equal to E times rate, right? Which is equal to 16.8 kilowatt hours times 0 0.07 per kilowatt hour. The kilowatt hours cancel out and you're left with money. What is the cost for one heater? This gives us a cost of $1.18 per heater, and then I multiply that by my eight for my eight heaters, and I get something like $9.41. Whatever. Okay, and that's how you did this. That is by far the hardest cost calculation you've ever had to do your cost calculation on your exam will be much more straightforward. But it makes sense. It does. It makes total sense. I think where, where you guys got lost was right here. Okay? You didn't know what to do after that because you were like, well, wait a minute. I already did my time. I can't do it again. Okay? So my apologies for that trick. It wasn't meant to be a trick, but nobody got it. So do you see what you had to do now?